for my service learning, I decided to sign up for a program called LEAD, which stands for Learning Environment Action Discovery. Therefore, on November 16, I, I attended a work party at the Outback Farm, which is by Western Campus. Starting off, here is a picture of me with a bunch of English ivy. In fact, our party group focused on removing English ivy, which is non-native plants that have been growing on Seahome Hill. So, what is non-native species? In our Biology 101 lecture as well as our lab, we discussed what are non-native species. It is invasive plants that are introduced to an area from another part of the world. For example, English ivy and sea home hill, where they can compete with native species or resources that impact on the overall ecosystem function. Nevertheless, what are primary and secondary succession? Primary succession occurs in newly created habitat. For example, island rises from the sea and we, we know that Hawaii is an island that rose from the sea. However, secondary succession occurs as communities recover from disturbance. For example, forest goes back. Both of these succession can be seen in Seahome Hill. In fact, in our biology lab, we had a, a walk to Seahome Hill and experienced that the two succession, which we also did in our service learning, where we saw the part of the Seahome Hill that has the primary succession and the other part, which was disturbance by landfalls which is as we know called, as we know it's called a secondary succession here is a picture of our removal final production of removal of the english ivy and here is a final picture of our working group that attended the lead program on november 16 at the outback farm thank you